next guest is one of the best poets in America. He has received numerous honors, including a Newbery Medal, a Coretta Scott King Award, and recently an Emmy. His memoir, Why Fathers Cry at Night, was released last year to critical acclaim. His latest book is called This Is the Honey. It's an anthology of contemporary black poets. Give it up for Kwame Alexander, everybody. <laughs> So lovely to have you here. Meet John. I, so you, you grew up in like a literary home. He grew up in the same kind of field he's in as well. It's interesting that that carried out for both of you. Right. But did your dad give you like book reports like separate from school? So in our garage, we had these milk crates that were filled with books. And they were these yeah. thick tomes. Books like The Wretched of the Earth by Franz Fanon. Yeah. Or the Encyclopedia, the Funkin' Wagnalls Encyclopedia. Yeah. And he, you know, challenged me. I don't want to say he forced me, because he's probably watching this. But he, <laughs> he challenged me to read those books. Yeah. And so I'd sit in the garage, and in between these thick tones would be these thin books that were poems. Yeah. And so I'd open them, and you could get through a poem in, like, a minute. Yeah. You know, and, and feel like, like... This is where it's at. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. and feel excited. Yeah. And so I remember reading um, a poem by Langston Hughes, folks, birthing is hard and dying is mean, so why not get yourself a little loving in between? Yeah, amen. Right? He knew, what he, he knew it was up. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, that's nice. So, so the poetry sort of was my, was my salve. It, it kind of excited me yeah. in the midst of having to read these sort of, you know, bigger books. Yeah. Do you have anything, did anything ever hit you when you were a kid? Or, I guess, as a grown-up. Can I just say, this is the first talk show I have ever done that has spent minutes talking about poetry. Oh, uh, and I, I say, love it. I say thank you, Kelly. Oh, you yeah. Know. I love it. I applaud you. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, yes, I grew up, as I said, with Shakespeare, uh, with Shakespeare's plays, of course, but yeah. with, his, with his poems, too. Yeah. Like, one of my very favorite poems is from his play, Cymbeline. Fear no more the heat of the sun, nor the furious winter's rages. Thou thy worldly task hast done. Home art gone, and taken thy wages. Golden lads and girls all must, as chimney sweepers, come to dust. It's, a, it's a, wow. an mm -hmm. elegy for a dead man spoken by his two dear friends. But being Shakespeare, it's really a joke. Because the dead man, it, not a man, but a woman dressed as a man, and she's not dead. <laughs> so here's this very moving poem yeah. presented as a joke. Now that's Shakespeare. Yeah. Shakespeare. I love humor. Yeah. I'm, I'm in for it. <laughs> so wait, so you... You have a poem to share with us, right, from the book. It's beautiful. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, contrarily to my father, my mother made words fun and exciting and cool for me. Yeah. She passed away in 2017. Mm. And I was trying to figure out how to deal with that grief. Yeah. And, of course, I turned back to the thing that I knew intimately, the thing that has gotten me over so many times, the words, the literature, the poetry, portrait of mother and son, Remember in the hospital room when your lungs stopped behaving and the doctor asked if I wanted to shut off the machine, the one loaning you breath? And I asked if you wanted to go home to die in your bed and you squeezed my hand once for yes. I was not prepared for the drowning sadness that has owned me ever since. There are answers I still need. I've always wondered if you ever cried at night, long after we were dreaming a world. Now you are gone and I've carried your ashes from one country to another like luggage that I cannot unpack, trying to find my own answers now, the right words to say goodbye, to thank you for leaving me with some soul to keep, to finally let go of your hand, to go home, to live, to love anew. My God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is incredible. Like, oh my gosh. And so many things are said in there. And finding those words to even like encompass someone that affects you so much and is just one of the greatest loves, you know, like a parent. It's one right. of the greatest loves. Like, that's hard to find the words for that. Yeah. It's and, beautiful, man. Well, she taught me the words. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And yeah. I think the poetry is the thing that ultimately saved me. Um, and it's the thing that ultimately connects me reminds me that I'm connected to you, mm -hmm. to you, to us. And ultimately, it makes me feel better. Helps with perspective. Absolutely. For me, yeah. 
Well, remember everybody, April is National Poetry Month. I love this episode, I've laughed, I've cried. Um, <laughs> Kwame Alexander's memoir, Why Fathers Cry at Night, is available now, you gotta go get it. And be sure to pick up This Is The Honey, his new anthology of contemporary black poets.